for me, it's usually what involves love is the most important thing. I first met Mateus at a meeting with crew. We had a discipleship ministry on campus. And the first time I saw him, I was like, hey, my name is Rob. What's yours? He said, Mateus. So we gave each other like this, this cool handshake and it just rolled from there. It was just like the best thing ever. It was so cool. He really cares about what you think about things. And he's just always there for you if you want to talk and just have a good time, just to have some energy, just to smile with somebody, just to have a laugh. I mean, he cares about what you're going through and he's like really empathetic, knows how to put you like himself in your shoes and like really knows how to like like trade your mind with his and like really read your mind. He's a very loving person. He cares a lot about his family. He talks about how much he misses them all the time. He him and his family is like I envy that because I didn't have that with my family and he's just so close with his family and to see them so distant from each other, it's like really hard to see that because I know how much he cares about them and how much he misses them so much. And for him to go like back on breaks to visit them is like the best thing in his eyes. Whenever he like thinks about God or it, it like crosses his mind, whenever he's in worship, he's like, oh dude, I cried and it was just great. With me, I, I'm more like, okay, I just had this like really great prayer with God, like it was, it was really strong. But with him, it's always like, dude, I cried. It was amazing. He's just like, if, if he cries, that's like the best worship slash prayer slash devotion he can have. If he cries, he's done a successful job with what he wants to do with God. He's got God here, and he's like playing soccer with God. And like, <laughs> that's like one of his, mo the, the most passionate I've ever seen a person about a sport. He's got it. It's, it's crazy. Like, he'll just like have a soccer ball and be like, hey, you want to toss around a little bit? And he's like, Sure, bro. And he has this little smirk on his face because he knows he's about to nutmeg me, so he calls it, which is like kicking the ball between my legs, basically. He does it every time there's a ball in his possession. And with me, I'm a pretty competitive guy. I like sports, but not with him in soccer. When he first moved here, I could tell that he had a pretty heavy accent, but the, the longer he stayed here, he's starting to become more Americanized, I would say. He, he's also um, developing new, new slang words that we use, like, What's up with that? Or, saw, dude. <laughs> just little things that we do. I just think it's hysterical, honestly. It's, it's a really good time just to be able to joke around with him with that and show him new things. I feel like he gets a lot of it from me because he just comes with me over a break and just, it just flows and it just comes naturally. And it's just fun to watch. What is my name? Mateus Nobre Priosti. And I'm from Brazil. I had two types of home because at first when I grew up, when I was born in Brazil, I grew up in a city and then growing up, like when I was nine years old, I moved countries and then I came back to Brazil in high school. So that was like, I had two homes. My first one where I was born and, and raised was a pretty poor community or, yeah, poor community in the south east of Sao Paulo and near the beach, <clears throat> not like near the beach, like walking distance, but like 30 minutes by car. It's, yeah, pretty cool. But it was a pre community. You were raised not only with intelligence, like s school intelligence, like you were also, ne you need to know the, the street intelligence. I don't know if that's a term, but that was my first home. And my second home was when I came back, I was f 14, no, I was 15 years old. I came back to Brazil, then I went to not, I was in the state of Sao Paulo, but two hours away from the city, Sao Paulo, which where I was born. So it was called Americana, which is translated American. I moved countries a lot, right? And that was because of my dad's job, which he works at Goodyear. So Goodyear Tires, there's a, there's a Goodyear Tires in Accra. So when we came back to Brazil, after seven years, 
and Goodyear said, yeah, come back to Brazil. Then I did my high school there. And at the end of my high school years, my dad said, well, like, there is an opportunity, not an opportunity, but I can in the future probably go somewhere in the world, like, as I did with you when you were a kid. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And he said, you can search for any university that's near, if you don't want to stay in Brazil, you can s search for any university that's near a good year. So if we go, we can st still t stay together. And yeah, I searched for, like, Chile, I already lived there, so I already knew some universities, but I didn't want to go to Chile. I want to stay, I, I had to, like, stay in Brazil or go to America. And in America, I was, I was searching for it, and I found Akron University and Kent State University, and I applied for Kent, and just got in. I was like, yeah, that, that's it. I wanted to come here. So it was scary at first because, like, my family, it's just a really big part of me. So I just got scared, scared with that in that sense. But out, out of that, it's just a really cool experience to be a foreigner. And as I told you, I was a foreigner for seven years of my life. So I lived in Venezuela, and then I lived in Chile. So actually, that's where I found myself like, I want to go somewhere else than Brazil, you know. My immediate family is pretty united. That's the a word I could say. Pretty, like, a lot. We were all, always raised as you, like, for me, and I, I guess it's for all of my siblings, that it's better to have a weekend with your family than with all of your friends. And I, I love my friends down there, but they also know that I, it was 50-50, you know? One weekend was with them, and one weekend was entirely with my family. I didn't even care. Like, people usually go out every weekend with their friends. Like, that was my family down there, you know? God, it's really important to me because with the family, with my family, we have been through many stuff. Since we were, since I was a kid, and that's just you can s see him moving in those means. When I was growing up, that's that's not even like for um, for me, you know. That's not even like a doubt for me that, that he exists or any, and that he moves in your favor. And my family, because we have been through a lot of things too, and I just appreciate everything that. Like the love that you get, that I get from my family, and yeah, that's definitely, you cannot, it's usually, for me, it's usually what involves love is the most important thing. <laughs>